Hello friends, welcome to Engineering Funda family. In this video, I'll explain characteristic impedance of transmission line as well as I'll derive characteristic impedance of transmission line. Let me explain first what is characteristic impedance. See, characteristic impedance is a impedance of transmission line provided length of the transmission line is infinite. Like as if you have transmission line like this, where this is input and this is output. If you measure impedance from input or output, provided length of the transmission line is infinite, that measured impedance will be characteristic impedance. So characteristic impedance is an impedance of transmission line, provided length of the transmission line is infinite. So characteristic impedance explains characteristics of transmission line. In this video, we are deal with to derive characteristic impedance. And to derive characteristic impedance, we need to have support of my previous videos of this video lecture series of microwave engineering. In my previous video, I have explained equations of transmission line. See, transmission line equations that is there in form of dv by dz and di by dz, right? And based on these equations, we have derived solution of voltage equation that is V1 into e to the power minus gamma z plus V2 into e to the power plus gamma z. So this is solution of wave equation. So we need to have this equation to derive characteristic impedance. So let me note it down. V is equals to V1 into e to the power minus gamma z plus V2 into e to the power plus gamma z. This is what solution of wave equation, right? In my last video, I have also explained you transmission line equations. See, we have transmission line equations in form of dv by dz and di by dz. Here we will be using dv by dz equation that is minus of r plus g omega l into i. Let me note down that equation as well. So here, based on this equation, you can say i is equals to minus 1 divided by r plus j omega l into dv by dz. Here in this equation, now we can place value of v that is v1 into e to the power minus gamma z plus v2 into e to the power plus gamma z. Now we need to differentiate this solution of wave equation right with respect to z. So in that differentiation, this v1 that is constant take it outside and e to the power minus gamma z that differentiation with respect to z is minus gamma into e to the power minus gamma z and here v2 is constant take it outside and differentiation of e to the power gamma z that is gamma into e to the power gamma z right now we need to simplify this equation further so let us take this minus sign inside and let us take this gamma common outside so here gamma will be there at output side divided by r plus j omega l and if you take this minus sign inside then minus minus plus v1 e to the power minus gamma z will be there with us and this minus sign is going inside so minus v2 into e to the power gamma z will be there with us now here see we have gamma gamma is propagation constant in my last video, I have explained what is gamma. Gamma is propagation constant, that is alpha plus j beta, where alpha is attenuation constant and beta is phase constant. And gamma value is square root of r plus j omega l and g plus j omega c. Right. And based on this equation, we can identify attenuation and phase of transmission line. So we will be taking this gamma is equals to square root of r plus g omega l and g plus g omega c for a further solution of characteristic impedance. So now we are placing this gamma is equal to square root of r plus g omega l and g plus g omega c for a further solution, right. Now in this equation, see r plus g omega l is there in denominator and here in numerator square root of r plus g omega l is there. So further simplification will be i is equals to square root of in numerator now we will be having g plus j omega c only 
while in denominator we will be having square root of r plus j omega l and here another term is voltage term that is v1 into e to the power minus gamma z minus v2 into e to the power plus gamma z see this equation that is showing relation of voltage and current in transmission line where current is equals to 1 divided by characteristic impedance into voltage right so here you can say current i that is 1 divided by z naught where z naught is characteristic impedance and here another term is therefore voltage that is v1 into e to the power minus gamma z minus v2 into e to the power plus gamma z right where characteristic impedance will be what that is square root of r plus g omega l divided by g plus g omega c now in this equation there are few essential things that you need to note down see here characteristic impedance that is depending on r l g c component where r is resistive component g is transconductive component l is inductive component and c is capacitive component losses in transmission line happens because of resistive and transconductive components so for lossless transmission line value of r and value of g that will be zero so for lossless transmission line what will be characteristic impedance see this r and g that will be zero j omega is getting cancelled so z naught will be l divided by c right so that is how one can identify characteristic impedance for lossless transmission line here there are a few essential things that you need to note down see this l and c that is providing phase to the signal where coupling of signal in this transmission line happens from one end to another end due to inductive and capacitive components where inductive components that will be storing energy in form of magnetic field and capacitive component will be storing energy in form of electric field losses in transmission line that happens due to r and g components right hello hitesh sir may i ask you one question yes mansi definitely you can ask questions hitesh sir how do characteristics impedance define the characteristics of the transmission line can you please explain it okay let me reply to the question over here see here question is how characteristic impedance defines characteristic of transmission line so one should know see this characteristic impedance that explains you characteristic of transmission line as it explains what should be the impedance of supply and load see as and when we connect supply to this transmission line at that time signal will go inside transmission line only if impedance of supply and impedance of transmission line is getting matched so supply impedance that should be nearer to impedance of transmission line that is that not and power will go to load only if transmission line impedance and load impedance is getting matched so z0 and zl that should be nearer to each other z0 is characteristic impedance so signal will be going inside transmission line from the supply as if supply impedance is nearer to characteristic impedance of transmission line and power will go to load only if characteristic impedance and load impedance is getting matched that's why characteristic impedance explains characteristics of transmission line where our job is to transfer signal from input to output see at input signal will go inside transmission line only if impedance of transmission line and supply impedance is getting matched and power will go to load only if load impedance and characteristic impedance is getting matched that's why characteristic impedance is named as a characteristic impedance as it is explaining characteristics of transmission line where job of transmission line is to provide coupling of signal from input to output i hope you got the point mansi thank you hitesh sir so if you have any queries like mansi is having then please note it down in comment section thank you so much for watching this video